One of the issues that we're starting to find out in highland reservoirs or ponds or lakes that are older, uh, the habitat's starting to disappear. And so we're actually standing where there was more habitat, believe it or not, where fish were able to hide. And so the issue is how do you get habitat where you don't have habitat? So a lot of people sink Christmas trees and stuff. And believe it or not, here in Northwest Arkansas, now they want to recycle the Christmas trees, so we don't even have them. So it's like a crazy deal. But look, Matt's here with American Fish Tree. I've been talking to him about habitat and how important it is. And Matt's telling me all kinds of good stuff. Tell him a little bit about habitat and how people have approached you uh, about these uh, habitat that you're making. Yeah, what we came up with is a, is a long-term uh, permanent, fish attractor habitat device. Uh, uh -huh. States and uh, volunteer groups have uh, traditionally gone out at different times of the year and put Christmas trees and right. um, uh, bamboo, other, other structures, woody type materials. And one of the problems is over time, just like a tree, it, it, it will eventually break down right. through the natural process. And so states have started plans for synthetic artificial habitat programs to address their long-term habitat needs. And so when I came upon this, I thought, hey, I, I know what I can do. I can come up with, took materials from a, an, another industry uh -huh. and said, hey, with a little engineering and a simple device, I can come up with a long-term synthetic solution and, and the, this tree is made of 100% PVC that it's the only one that's 100% PVC and we PVC is a material that's not harmful to the environment right. you have PVC is in majority of homes around right. the world yeah. and, and so people will say oh it's just more plastic and trash and the like well no it's actually a purpose habitat structure a long-term solution to a problem that just every state or individual landowner they face and how, how do I, how do I create habitat to, to keep my lake and or my pond or, or keep it regenerating right and this is just an alternative it's, it's what we came up with and and decided to go ahead and do it. isn't that cool so if you're looking at you know putting some habitat in your pond or off your boat dock or you want it somewhere where you can catch more fish you need to check these out. Hey, Matt, tell them uh, what website could they check that out? At AmericanFishTree.com. All right, thank you.